Hi everyone and welcome back to Learning with Mr. Luis. Today we're going to be making a hot glue candle holder. Before we get into this activity, I do just want to recommend that you guys practice maximum safety when handling the hot glue guns because they are very hot. And always find a safe place to set down your hot glue gun when not in use. So the first thing we'll need is parchment paper, hot glue gun with extra hot glue sticks just in case, a cup, our paintbrush, an acrylic paint palette, our acrylic paint of any color we choose, and lastly, our candle. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make a rectangle onto our parchment paper. The rectangle is going to serve as the walls of our candle holder. And the dimensions that I'm using for this demonstration are 4 inches high for the rectangle and about 8 inches in length. You can always increase or decrease as much as you'd like for the size. All right, and then for the second step, this one is pretty much a freehand, so you can choose to do some loop-de-loops for the walls of your candle holder. You can always just do crisscrosses or anything that you would like. What I would recommend is that any time that you create loop-de-loops or lines, that you make sure they connect to your rectangle just so that way it makes it easier when you're detaching it from the parchment paper. Once we let the walls of our candle holder dry, which will take about three to five minutes, it's time for the next step. So now we're gonna connect our candle holder together by hot gluing one of the small corners of our candle holder to the other one. And you can do this by just gently folding it over and holding it together while the glue dries. Once we've completed that step, we're gonna grab a marker or a pen and trace the bottom of our candle holder. Now with our hot glue, we're going to go over the design and then fill it in. This is where our candle is going to go. You wanna make sure that you create enough lines so that way your candle doesn't fall through when you have it on there. Once we've allowed our design to dry, we're going to go over it one more time with our hot glue gun so that way we can stick the walls of our candle holder on top. This is just an extra step, but if you guys find that your design has a few gaps at the bottom where your candle's going to go and your candle walls, feel free to fill that in with your hot glue gun. Once you've completed that step, feel free to start painting your candle holder with your favorite colors. I definitely found it useful to paint the inside of my candle holder as well, just so that way the color pops out more. Once it's dry, all you have to do is put your candle inside and voila! You have a beautiful candle holder that also serves for decoration. Thank you so much for joining me in this activity today. Today we learned how to use a hot glue gun to create three-dimensional objects. I hope you guys had a blast doing this activity with me. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.